Good morning. Welcome back to another day of 12 days of Christmas. It is early. It's 9 43. I'm already out of the house because I thought I needed to get an oil change because my maintenance required light came on, but it's not even at like the recommended mileage or date for the next service yet. So I came here expecting to get an oil change, but he's like, I would just wait. Wouldn't worry about it yet. And I was gonna go, cause it usually takes like two hours. So I was gonna go to Starbucks and just edit while that was going on. Now I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I might still go to Starbucks because I do need to edit a video. Keiko is at home with Zeke right now, feeding him breakfast and stuff, and then he's gonna put him down for his first nap. So I was just gonna edit anyway. So I might still just head to Starbucks and do some editing, but welcome back to the channel. We actually have a fun day today. Aside from this morning of car fiascos, we're going to a little Christmassy thing here in San Diego today, and we've never been to it. It's in Del Mar on the fairgrounds, and I'm excited. It's at 4 p.m., so we've got all day pretty much. My Mm, when a snow All right, it is 11.17. Just got done at Starbucks. I got a grande oat milk latte with two pumps of caramel brulee. I just left, so I just picked up Keikoa a drink too. I just got a hot little cafe misto with some caramel brulee. And I'm heading home now. I got a lot of editing done, which was good. I just got the full rough cut done pretty much. So I still need to do all the creative part of it. But Zeke woke up. Only took about like a 40 minute nap, which is pretty short compared to what he's been doing. So I'm gonna rush home because I need to feed him. And then we'll get on with our day. So today has turned into something a little different than we expected. A few days ago we found out, maybe like a week ago, that we have mice or rats in the garage. <laughs> Thank God have not made it into the house. And I pray that they do not because that is a whole nother thing I don't wanna deal with. But there's so much rodent poop in the garage all over everything they're getting into so many things they rip open so many bags and like boxes and chewed up so much stuff they got into keiko's old paintball gear and popped a bunch of paintballs and there's paintball paint all over so many things and a lot of zeke's like baby baby stuff and ugh, it's just so gross and they also got into his stroller seat and pooped on his seat <laughs> So that's just disgusting. So we have to get a bunch of like bins and boxes to literally put everything in and like not let anything be solo and not in a box in the garage because it's just so gross. So we got a bunch of traps to catch them hopefully because they're literally ruining our garage and it's just so gross. We didn't deal with this last year, so I don't know what it is now. Is it like the season? Like do they come out when it's colder? I don't know. So yeah, Keiko is currently in the garage putting things in boxes, cleaning up all the poop because it's getting out of hand. Deacon and I are just chilling inside. He's gonna take a nap soon, which is good because I need to get a lot of stuff done. And I also need to get ready because we're gonna go to that Christmas thing later. I just preheated the oven and we're making some frozen Costco burritos that we got. They look really good. We've never tried them before, but they have like 40 or like 35 grams of protein in them. So I'm throwing these in the oven right now and they go in for about 20 minutes. I had to take the sweater off that I was wearing, which is why I'm in my nursing sports bra right now. Because Zeke had pesto for lunch and he had green hands and I was trying to clean him up and I did not want him to stain my white sweater. Ah. I love you. But yeah, this whole rodent situation is not fun and I don't wish it upon anybody because it's just a lot of extra stuff. And it's just gross knowing that there's rats and mice all over our stuff in the garage, which is why I pray they don't make it inside the house. You just wanna say hi! Look at that handsome boy! And we were gonna take a stroller to the Christmas Eve thing tonight, but now I can't, we can't because we need to wash that cover because I'm not putting him in there like that. Jump, 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 jump. Did you like that one? not let me put him down. I've literally been carrying him around doing so much stuff and so much cleaning and my arm is numb because it's so tired. It's literally carrying around a 19 pound dumbbell all day long. It's craziness. 
While the burritos are cooking and while Zeke is occupied and happy, I'm gonna do these dishes real quick so that we don't have to worry about them later. Say, I love you, you love me, we are happy. Family. We got 10 minutes till the burritos are done. Did you poop? Take it down for a nap. It's 2.15. We're leaving at like 3.30ish. 3 so I need to get ready while he's napping. I was just helping clean the garage a little. And we're just going to donate a bunch of stuff that we just don't want to deal with anymore. So let's get ready. I'm probably gonna do it pretty fast, so I'm gonna do it off camera. But I still need to pick an outfit and everything, so we'll do that together once I'm done. I just have to do my mascara still. Eyelash primer is drying, so I have to wait. Let's go see if we can pick out an outfit. It's kind of hot right now, it's 72, but it's supposed to drop to like 60s around the time we're gonna be there. So definitely gonna dress warm. Let's see. I'm probably just gonna wear jeans and a sweater or something. I also have all my like outerwear that I literally have not touched since last December. Every time I see this, it reminds me of going into labor because I wore this the day we went on our little beach, long beach walk, the night before I went into labor. This sweater definitely put me into labor. <laughs> I actually might wear this. I just don't think it's going to be that cold. But it is by the beach, so it's very windy. Okay, definitely going to wear my Uggs. And I kind of want to wear this denim long sleeve shirt jacket thing that I got from Target. So I could wear this, but then I can't wear jeans. But I could wear my beige jeans and then my Uggs. Yeah, okay. We're leaning towards that. I just need to pick a shirt. Okay, I have this little cream white sweater from Brandy, <clears throat> which I think could be cute. So I'll put this on with my beige pants and then this jacket over. What do we think? <laughs> Let me put it on. Okay, I don't know if we're feeling this. I don't know. What do we think? <sighs> I think it's the sweater. No, it's the jacket. <laughs> it's gonna be a rough one. Okay, but I also have this red Skims long sleeve, which obviously is very Christmassy. So I kind of want to wear this. But what do I wear with it? Like, I think it's, I feel like it's such a bold color. You can't wear too many things with this. Okay, here's an option. We've got the beige puffer vest, the red top underneath, giving that pop of Christmas, some beige pants, and my Uggs. Something about this is just saying heck no, though. <laughs> I want to make this red shirt work and I just don't know how because I could just wear it plain like this without the puffer but I think it's too cold for that and I don't want to wear blue like a denim jacket because then this is like very red white and blue and that's not what we're going for I mean this is cute but I just could not find out a way to make the red shirt work um, and it's too cold to just wear it so I switched and here's the final fit the sweater is from H&M my mirror is so dirty I'm sorry. Sweaters H&M, pants are Abercrombie, and shoes are Uggs. And green is still Christmas, so I think it's still a win. All right, a little bit later than we planned to leave, but that's okay. It's 4.41, we planned to leave at 3.30, but it's fine. Can you leave your beanie on? Because Zeke was taking a nap, and he took a two hour, 15 minute nap. I don't know what it is. Stop! No! And he keeps ripping off his beanie. Do you know where his beak is? It's on the couch. So we're finally heading out, and also I changed my outfit again. <laughs> and Zeke's wearing his outfit he got for Christmas early. And I put his socks on. Look how cute! Little Christmas boy! Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Silent night. I only have one wish for the shooting star. Holy night, send me someone to love so I can hold their hand while we're ice skating around the trees. Central Park, kiss them under the mistletoe. Oh, I want a Christmas kind of spark. Santa Claus, do you know Cupid? Send his arrow straight to my heart. Favorite things come 
common sense up too So does love Send me someone I can talk to We'll share stories of our childhood memories of Christmas past Chestnuts on an open fire and another It was fun, and Zeke loved looking at all the lights. Yay, look at you! <laughs> yes. Two attempts at our daily Polaroid. All right, guys. Hello. <laughs> what a day it's been. We're home. We put Zeke to bed, give him a bath, and all that. Now it is 8:13, and we decided to do sushi takeout for dinner because we didn't end up eating anything at the Christmas thing because everything was so expensive and such a long wait and there's only like three options so we decided just to get donuts there and hot chocolate now we just ordered sushi Kiko just left to go pick it up and I'm so excited I'm so happy that we decided to wait even though I'm like literally starving right now so I'm watching Julia's video that she just posted and I just took a shower did my skincare and now I'm just waiting for our sushi and I'm so excited. Okay, I need to feed my sourdough though because I forgot to feed it yesterday and we cannot let this thing die. This is literally trial number, I don't even know. <laughs> I honestly think like number four, four or five, but yeah, we're not, not letting this one go. Still literally not doubling yet, which is so frustrating. Went through a really good phase of it doubling and even like tripling and quadrupling and then it kind of just plateaued and I think it's because it got really cold in my house and it's not as hot as it was or warm as it was during the summer, obviously. So we're just hoping she starts to thrive again. Sushi is here. I'm so excited to eat this. Okay, here's the spread. I'm not gonna say what everything is because I have no idea and I don't remember, but this is what we've got. That looks interesting. Like it looks like dry, but it's not. Edamame, sleeping baby. Is that the special edamame? No, too spicy. Okay, we just finished well, sushi. you offered. This is one of his presents that came today, so I had it wrapped down here and all the rest of the presents are upstairs. Wait! So I was like, you wanna open it? So I don't want to bring it upstairs. So he's gonna open a Christmas present very early. It's a Christmas or birthday? Sure, give me a birthday present. This is what came in Amazon today. Don't break it. I'm not excited for all the don't, wrapping don't paper. Don't look at the label. Okay. Oh my gosh. But it's black and you don't want a black okay. one. Well, I'm gonna wear it tomorrow. Oh, it doesn't go with my yeah, outfit. That's why I said open it now. So you knew this was gonna happen. Too big? Yeah. Oh yeah. You see what that says? You gotta tell them though. It says Tory Pines. They don't know what that is. Yes they do. <laughs> it's his dream golf course that he's golfing tomorrow. It's not my dream. On your bucket list. Well, yeah, it's a bucket list golf course, but oh. this looks like a sticker. Is it the logo? Yeah, it's their logo. They have it on all their heads. You have to wear it tomorrow. I'm gonna wear it tomorrow. Does it not fit right? No, it fits good. Weird? It fits good. I think this is the is this the A frame or the Odyssey? It's the only one they had. The A frame or the Odyssey? Those are the two ones that I like. The Odyssey fits me the best, but this one. Looks good too. Now you gotta change my outfit. You s you wanted okay. me to pick your you pick my outfit then. You tell them about a rat problem? Yeah. We might have to get those ones that just kill them. You know, I had to DM Jake on Instagram. Cause he cause you asked what 
Yeah, someone I want for my birthday. I I told him to make sure you didn't buy it tomorrow because I didn't know that it was gonna come before you went. Yeah, I was probably I'm probably buying one tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I know. He was like he was like that's okay, I think he or he already talked himself out of it because it's eighty dollars. I was like, no, he didn't. He literally talks about it every day. So, I have uh, the most thankful husband. Yes. Do you see this? I'm wearing it to sleep. I didn't even get a thank you. Thank you. I didn't baby. even get a thank you. I was just so excited. Oh, thank you. Mm. Can you cut that out? Mm -hmm. What? Did you did I didn't get a thank yes, you? Yes. I'm sorry. I was just so excited. I couldn't believe it. I'm so grateful, babe. Okay, I'll let you open one present. No, I don't want to. It's, I wanted you to open this. It's in a long, no, thin box. No. That I got at the store. No. That you were at. No, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> you don't want to use it? <laughs> I do, but I'm gonna wait. Okay, now that he has his present, we're gonna go lay in bed, watch Kitchen Nightmares, and I have to pick kid. his, pick his golf outfit for tomorrow. Are you just so excited? You could tell them all about it tomorrow. I'm gonna insert um, an Instagram reel that I sent to her that explains how every guy feels before golfing the next day. You can't insert it. Yes, I'll link can. it. No, it's gonna copyright me. Okay, see you tomorrow. <laughs>